Well, good morning. It's eight in the morning here in Singapore, midnight in London and 8 a.m. in Hong Kong, where activists remain under siege inside the Polytechnic University. But around 100 protesters, including 50 miners, have been led from the buildings as part of a deal negotiated by a group of school head teachers. There's been more violence as police try to keep the campaigners trapped inside. Outside the university, protesters have tried to break the police lines, while police have responded with rubber bullets and more tear gas. Our correspondent Rupert Wingfield Hayes has the latest. For a few minutes today, it looked like the siege of Hong Kong Polytechnic University might end peacefully. The young protesters began streaming down the stairway that on Sunday was set aflame to block the police storming the campus. But seconds later, riot police began firing tear gas grenades, sending the young protesters scattering in confusion. Some did not escape. The clear message from the police today, if you surrender, you will be arrested. Hundreds of protesters are still holed up inside the university, and some of them still preparing for a fight. This young man's brother is one of them. Uh, he is 22 years old. He graduated last year in Poly University. He was uh, go to the uh, school after work, and we, we reached him by WhatsApp. As we know, he is safe now, but he cannot come out because police force is around the school. He trying to, he tried to come out last night, but not successful. This evening, a small group made another break for it, abseiling down ropes from one of the university footbridges to a roadway below and being taken away on waiting motorcycles. As night fell in Kowloon, thousands of other protesters began coming onto the streets in support of those still besieged inside the university. Soon the streets of Kowloon were once again ablaze. Down the street behind me here, about half a mile away, is the Hong Kong Polytechnic University, which is still under siege. Around it, in many, many places tonight, are scenes like this of complete chaos, of running street battles between protesters and riot police. This, where we're standing here, is right next to many five-star hotels. This is the heart of Hong Kong's tourist and shopping district. Trapped in their rooms, tourists gaze down at the scenes below. Late tonight, a handful of underage protesters were allowed to leave the university campus. But for everyone else, the police here are now taking an increasingly hard line. Rupert Wingfield Hayes, BBC News, in Hong Kong.